Every time I open up Time magazine or read a blog or read a newspaper or even watch a movie, I'm always looking for controversy. And maybe you too, right? Why is that? Because controversy sort of steers up our mind. In fact, steers up our emotion. You have to move to the left, you have to move to the right, you go up and down, you go choose A and B, it steers us up. So controversy, therefore, is a technique in facilitation that would help you and your learners to really seriously think about things. So for example, uh, when you ask a question like what you do, what would you do when you have persistently asked this team member or when you're trying to solve this problem and you know you have the right answer and you know that you have tested the answer but your boss doesn't allow you to do it. Very simple, but inside it is controversy. It steers up emotions. It steers up some, some uh, convulsion inside the employee. Maybe we don't respond to it, but it steers us up. Also, uh, controversy, uh, controversy is something about outside of the norm. What will you do to skirt the system because the system doesn't let you do it. Uh, maybe you say you should not do it, but many of us do workarounds, right? So what are controversial points in there? Uh, for example, when you're trying to simply say that there's a huge gap. Now, it is so glaring, for example, that somebody over the years has been reducing the cost of materials, but at the same time, sacrificing the quality. That's controversy. What would you do? Use controversy, convert your content into controversial points or find the controversial points because we all respond to something that steers us up. Why? Gaps, conflicts, what you call different point of views, it steers up because it challenges our thinking. So ask questions that really steers up controversy.